Have you ever pondered what secrets lie behind the golden eyes of the majestic lion? In the vast expanse of nature's grand theater, few creatures command as much reverence as the lion. Crowned as the king of the jungle, this regal beast is not only a symbol of strength but also a beacon of courage. But beyond the mane and the mighty roar, there exists a world seldom explored, a narrative often overlooked. This is the world we aim to unveil today. We will delve deep into the hidden aspects of the lion's life, peeling back the layers of mystery one by one. We'll glimpse into their unseen strength, explore the bonds within their prides, understand the power of their roars, and witness the circle of life as it unfolds in the wild. So are you ready? Ready to journey with us into the heart of the lion's den? Think of a lion, what do you see? A powerful mane, a lethal roar. But there is much more than meets the eye. Indeed, the lion's strength is legendary. It's not just about the raw power rippling beneath their golden fur or the swift precision of their pounce. No, it's about the clever tactics they employ, the coordinated efforts that take down their prey, and the unyielding endurance that can outlast even the most agile of creatures. Lions are experts in the art of the hunt. Their strategy is not one of solitary pursuit, but rather a communal effort, a dance of life and death choreographed on the vast plains of Africa. They rely on stealth, patience, and the element of surprise. The lion's approach is a lesson in patience and precision, waiting for the perfect moment to strike, to unleash that pent-up energy in one lethal burst of speed. But let's not forget about the lionesses, the unsung heroes of the pride. While the male's mane is undoubtedly striking, it is the females who do the majority of the hunting, their sleek bodies built for speed and agility. They are the backbone of the pride, the ones who ensure the survival of their family. Yet the strength of the lion isn't just about physical prowess or hunting acumen, it's also about the complex social structure within the pride. Unlike other big cats, lions are incredibly social creatures. They live in groups, sharing the responsibility of hunting and protection. They form bonds, alliances, friendships even. They mourn their dead, they play together, groom each other, share in the joys and hardships of life on the savanna. This social structure, this community, is what truly sets the lion apart. It's a testament to their adaptability, their intelligence, and their resilience. It's a strength that goes beyond muscle and bone, beyond tooth and claw. It's a strength that lies in unity, in cooperation, in the bonds that tie them together. But strength isn't merely physical, is it? It's also about the bonds that bind us. In the heart of the savanna, amidst the tall grass, the lion's strength truly shines through their bonds. While the lion's physical prowess is a marvel to behold, it is their social structure that sets them apart from other big cats. Lions are the only cats that live in groups, called prides. These prides are not just random assemblies, they are families bound by intricate rituals and deep-rooted relationships. The pride is typically composed of related females, their cubs, and a small number of adult males, these lions are not just cohabitants, they are interconnected by a web of social bonds. The females, or lionesses, are often sisters or cousins who have grown up together. They share a deep bond, supporting each other in hunting and caring for the cubs. The males, on the other hand, are often brothers or pride mates who have formed coalitions to take over and defend a pride. Their bond is cemented by rituals and behaviors such as social grooming and rubbing heads reinforcing their alliances and displaying their affection. These bonds are not just for show. They are vital for the survival of the pride. In the harsh wilderness of the savanna, the lion's cooperative behaviors enhance their hunting success, increase cub survival, and defend against intruders. A lion alone is a lion at risk, but a pride of lions stands strong, embodying the wisdom of unity and strength. And yet the dynamics within a pride are not static. They ebb and flow, shaped by factors such as age, sex, and the ever-changing challenges of the savanna. This fluidity ensures the pride's resilience, allowing it to adapt and thrive in the face of adversity. So perhaps in the grand scheme of nature, the lion's strength lies not just in its physical prowess, but in its social bonds. The pride is their fortress, their family, their strength. It is a testament to the power of unity and the importance of relationships, a lesson we can all learn from. 
So it's not just about survival, but also about thriving together as a family. Can you hear it? The rumbling roar that echoes across the plains? It's not just a sound, it's a message. The lion's roar. It's a sound that can be heard up to five miles away. It's a powerful tool used by these majestic creatures to communicate with their pride and it's as unique as a human fingerprint. Each roar is special, distinct, carrying its own story, its own message. Imagine being a lion, standing tall on the African plains, the wind blowing through your mane. As the sun sets, you open your mouth wide and let out a roar that shakes the earth, a roar that says, I am here. Now let's delve deeper into the roar's purpose. It's not merely a vocal exhibition of power, but it's a way to keep in touch. A way to tell your pride, I'm here, I'm safe. It's a signal to the young cubs, a reassurance that they're not alone. But the roar is not just for internal communication. It's a warning to other prides, a clear message that this territory is taken. It's a bold declaration of dominance and a challenge to any who dare to encroach. The roar is also a beacon, a guiding light for lost members of the pride. It's a homing signal, a call that leads them back to safety, back to family. And yet, the roar is not just a sound, it's a symbol. A symbol of strength, of courage, of unity. It's a testament to the power of the pride, the solidarity of the group. It's an emblem of the lion spirit, the raw, unbridled power of the king of the jungle. In the grand scheme of life, the roar represents the lion's place in the world, a clear demarcation of its territory, its power, its role as a protector. So the next time you hear the rumbling roar of a lion, remember, it's not just a sound. It's a story, a message, a symbol. In the silent night, a lion's roar is a promise of protection, a declaration of territory, and a symbol of courage. The lion's life is a circle, a cycle of birth, growth, survival, and death. It's a journey that begins with the first breath, deep in the heart of Africa's wilderness. Under the watchful gaze of their mother, young cubs embark on a life path fraught with challenges and lessons. From the start, they are thrust into a world of survival. They learn the art of hunting, the thrill of the chase, the taste of success, and the sting of failure. Their mother, their first teacher, guides them through this intricate dance of life and death. But each experience, each trial, is a stepping stone, building their strength and honing their skills. As they grow, they begin to understand their place in the pride. The males, with their burgeoning manes, prepare to take on the mantle of protector. The females, sleek and agile, ready themselves to become the pride's primary hunters. Each has a role to play a duty to fulfill, a contribution to make. Into adulthood, they face their greatest trials, competition, territorial disputes, and the relentless test of survival. Their roars echo across the savannah, a testament to their strength and a warning to rivals. They fight, they hunt, they protect, their lives, a constant struggle for dominance and survival. In old age, the cycle begins to close. Their once powerful roars grow softer, their majestic manes lose their luster. The king and queen of the savannah, now weary with age, step back, allowing the next generation to take the reins. But even in their twilight years, they hold a certain dignity, a quiet strength that commands respect. Throughout their lives, lions play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of the ecosystem. Their hunting helps control the population of herbivores, ensuring the vegetation thrives. Their presence deters other predators, maintaining a delicate balance of power. In the grand scheme of nature, each lion plays a role. Each life matters. This is the circle of life, the cycle that keeps the savannah alive, the cycle that lions are an integral part of. Beyond the mane and the roar lies a world of intrigue, a world that's as complex as it is captivating. In the heart of the wilderness, the lion with its regal mane and mighty roar is more than just the king of the jungle. It's a symbol of strength, yes, but that's not all there is to it. Lions possess a physical prowess that's unmatched, but equally fascinating is their social structure. A pride of lions is a testament to their deep-seated bonds and their communal way of life. The roar of a lion, powerful and resonating, 
carries more than just a warning to intruders. It's a call, a message, an integral part of their communication. And their life cycle, it's a captivating journey, a circle of life that's as brutal as it is beautiful. As we unravel the secrets of the lion's life, we discover not just the king of the jungle, but a creature of immense complexity and depth, a creature that truly deserves our admiration and respect. 